Hello, good morning. Hey, good evening. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Beatrice. Good evening. Hello. Mm. How are you, Iris? I am fine. Can I see you? Okay. Yes. Waiting for for the rest of the class. Let's see what's going on. Okay. That's well. I just have to share. Hello, Floor. How are you, Floor? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. So this is what we have now, the what's in a name. We are going to read this short article and after we are going to answer these five questions. Uh, one about the, the, what is your name as part of your identity, identity. And then people often feel the same way about particular name boys' names are more popular than girls' names. Then we have people are often named after family members. And opinions about names can change. And all of them are true or false. Okay. Let's see. Okay, now there. Okay, uh, Flora, can you please read? Here it says, what is in the name? Look at the names in the article. Do you know any people with these names? What are they like? Okay, read the first uh, two lines. Okay, teacher. Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. It is an important part of your identity. Okay, it's a very important part of your identity, right? When, when people say our name, we feel, we feel nice, right? But when people say, what is your name again? So we feel bad, right? We feel bad. So because people, it's like if people do not take us seriously, right? So this is something that, a feeling. That's why he said, when you think of yourself, you prob probably think of your name first. It is an important part of our identity. Okay. Beatrice, can you read this, the second paragraph right now? Right now, the two most Popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why, why are their names and why are some names unpopular? Unpopular, right? So then, uh, according to this article, Jacob and Emily they are popular, right? Remember that the names become popular in some countries depending on the on the trend, on the tense, on the tendency, right? For example, uh, what is one of the most common names or most popular names 
uh, in these days here in El Salvador for babies? Which one do you think are the most popular names? Rodrigo, maybe. Right, there are a lot of Rodrigos. Uh, what else? Jose, Juan. Jose, Juan, right. Those are the, let's say, the, the popular ones of all times, right? The oof from long, long time ago, Juan, Rodrigo, eh, Juan, Jose, Jesus, right? So these are very, very popular names in Latin America. For girls, you have Maria, Anna, right? So these are like popular names in, in our country too, or in Latin America. Okay, good. It is, can you please read the next paragraph, names? Okay, names, names can become popular because of famous actor, TV, or book uh, characters or athletes. Popular names suggest very positive things on popular names suggest negative things. Uh, surprise. Surprising? Surprisingly. Surprisingly. People generally agree on the way they feel about nice. Her, her are some common opinion opinions about nice from a recent recent recent, recent survey. Okay, good. Okay, so then you have here, for example, the, this is in the United States, right? Not here in El Salvador. That they say, for example, boys' names, popular, George, Jacob, Michael, Stanley, Betty, Emily, Jane, and Nicole. And I don't know if this is true, but some people say that certain names like this, certain names, is sometimes suggest a person's personality, okay? But you don't say si eso cierto, right? But they said according to this that George, the, well, this is George, no Jorge, right? Says average and boring. The personality of these people is average or they are boring. Okay, yo conozco a Jorge que no son nada boring. Okay, uh, Jacob, creative and friendly. Michael, good looking, athletic. Um, Stanley, nerdy or serious. Girls' names, Betty, old fashioned. Old fashioned or average. Uh, Emily, independent, adventurous. Jane, plain, ordinary. Nicole, beautiful or intelligent. Okay, these are, you know, some suggestions, right? But they say that here are some common opinions about names from recent survey. Questions about vocabulary in this moment? No problem. What is average? I average. Uh -huh. Average. Promedio. Okay, average. Okay. The person, you know, the standard, right? It has no, not too much. Okay, what else? Only? Nerdy is intelligent. No. It's a person, yes, he's uh, always studying, right? He apparently knows mm -hmm. about everything, right? Una persona que estudia de todo, sabe de todo, right? It's considered nerdy, right? Nerdy. 
Oiga, nerdy es todas las personas que estudian de todo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they know. They read, they nurse this, they read about whatever they, they feel like, right? But they know, a little, for me, they know a little bit of everything, but not everything, right? Okay. Uh, Super sickly? Which one? Uh, this uh, narrative part for surprisingly. Surprisingly. Mm -hmm. Surprendentemente. Oh. Surprising. Surprising. Oh, surprising. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Then uh, tell me, can you please read the last paragraph? So why do parents? So why do parents hide their children on popular name? The biggest right reason. 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 is tradition. Nay people are nay after a family member. Okay. Of course, course, opinion can change over time. A name time is pop, um, um, popular. I, unpopular. Unpopular now, need because popular in the foot. future. Future. That's good news for us, for our, our day. Churches. You, Yorshas in Betis out there. Out there. Yeah. Out there. Out there. Okay. Now you see, for example, that sometimes with the, let's say with the fashion, with the time, the people of the people's opinion changes, right? Probably a a couple of years ago, maybe. El nombre Nicolás. What do you think about the name Nicolás? Sounds good, nice. ¿Le pondrían ustedes Nicolás a algún hijo de ustedes? No. <laughs> okay, just a question, okay? Octavio? No, I don't no. like this name. Ah, uh -huh, okay, that's, that's the opinion, right? But for example, sometimes esos nombres donde dicen, no, que no hay que... But in the future, sometimes esos nombres se vuelven bien populares y como que la gente los va aceptando y los... Y como que suenan hasta con más caché, right? And then, uh, and then people changes. But this is something about the names que las cosas van cambiando, right? Uh, in, that, in that sense. For example, the... For some Marty. people... Ma? Marty. Marty. Sí. Uh -huh, yeah, yes. Mary, but Mary is common, right? Mary, Mary, Maria, right? Then, mm -hmm. so these are very common names. Eh, y para alguna gente es, ay, Maria, Pedro, it sounds like a very too common, right? But con el tiempo, the people, is, is also becomes popular, right? As a popular <laughs> names. Okay, so eso es cuestión de tiempo, gustos. O sea, no es que hay un nombre, a uno me, no me gusta un nombre, but... It's just an opinion, okay? It's just an opinion. Good. Pero si nosotros llevamos ese nombre, we like it. Right? Good. Uh, let's see. Any other question? Any other uh, question about vocabulary? I think the vocabulary is very familiar. It's not very strange. Okay, so I think it's... All right, now let's answer the questions. That we have number one, 
only true or false your name is part of your identity true or false true true okay okay it is an important part of your identity correct so it is true what about number two? People often feel the same way about a particular name. How do people feel about a particular name? True. That's true? Yeah. Okay. Boys' names are more popular than girls' names. For boys and girls. They are the same, different, have more, less. False. Okay. People are often named after a family members. Name after is like a, a nombrar a un hijo igual que el padre o a una hija igual que la madre, right? Okay, el abuelo. For example, I guess I am named after my father. Or, for example, you can say I am named after my mother. So then that means that you have the same name that your mother has, right? You say what is it? True? True. True. Okay. Opinions about names can change. True. 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 Okay, so here we have, here we submit. Okay. All of them correct. Your name is part of your identity? Yes. People often feel the same way about a particular name Yes, there is no big difference, right? For example, the, the same sensation, right? The same feeling. Boys' names are more popular than girls' names is false. They are similar, right? They are similar. People are often named after family members. True, yes. right? And there are some families that they have the, the this abuelo was uh, George, then the grandfather was George, this father was George, and the son is George, and then everybody has like seven, seven Georges in the family, right? And then this is a tradition sometimes too, right? These are like traditions. Opinions about names can change. True, right? Probably in the future, names that are not popular in this moment probably they will be popular in the future, right? Uh, for example, what is a name that, for example, what do you think when you hear the name Donald? What do you think? In English, right, of course, Donald. Then you will think about probably Donald Trump in this moment, right? <laughs> and they say, oh, no, like that, then, Probably. Uh -huh, exactly. But probably in the future, other people in the United States will think different, right? About the name, not the person, right? You change sometimes the opinion about the names. Okay. Good. And then this is the end. Yes. No more questions. No more. Now let's move to 
Well, this is the end. This is the end of uh, section one. Now we're going to start with section two. Okay. And in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH questions, words, as well as a statements, right? Now we're gonna talk about jobs. Where do you work? How do you spend your day? This is the top, I mean, the title of the unit, right? How do you spend your day? And then where do you work? So we're gonna have some talks about, yeah, just let me check the sound. It's now here. Okay, and listen. Hi everyone, welcome to section two. How do you spend your day? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Section 2. How do you spend your day? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Peru. How interesting. Okay. So here we have questions. This two says questions and statements about things you do, right? Where do you work? This is the question. And then we have an affirmative sentence, right? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Okay. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. If you see in this uh, conversation, the Jason and Andrea, they are uh, like um, a in a very general way, right? Expressing what they do during the day, right? Because if you hear that uh, Jason and uh, that Andrea work at Thomas Cook Travel, she's a guide and she takes people on tours to countries in South America, you know, she probably travels, right? She flies, she goes to, uh, to South America very often. Okay, very frequently and the other guy is uh, works is a student so he spends the 50% of the day in the school or university right or college and then uh, the other 50% of the time he has a part-time job in a restaurant called hamburger heaven okay Questions about expressions of vocabulary. No questions. Okay, very good. Okay, then uh, Brenda, you are going to be Jason. Um, Flor, you are going to be Andrea. Okay. 
Could you please read the conversation? Okay. Where did you go, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What did you do there? I am a guide. guide. I, take, I am a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. Wow, interesting. It's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I am a student. And uh, I have a party time who do. Oh, where do you work? And I fast for restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Okay, good. This is part-time job. Okay, part-time job. Okay, this is a part-time job. Thank you. It is, now you are Andrea and Roberto, you are Jason. Okay. Where do you work, Andrea? I work on Thomas Cook Travel. Really? What do you do there? I am a gay, I take guide. guy, guy. I take people on tours on countries in South America, like Peru. How oh, interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I am a student and I have a part-time job too. Jobs. Jobs, Jobs too. <laughs> oh. Where do you work? It's a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Okay, very good, excellent. Very, very nice. Okay, now uh, Beatriz, you are going to be, let me see, uh, Andrea, okay, and Jose Figueroa, you are Jason. Okay, good evening. Good evening. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like. Oh, interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I am a study and I have a part time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, it is Jason, Andrea, Carmina. Okay, so. It is you are yeah. Jason yeah. and Carmina there. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What did you do there? Um, uh, guide. Guide. I, guy, um, I'm a guy. I take, I take people on tour to country on South America, like, like Peru. How interest, interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I am a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. With restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. 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 Okay, yes, that's correct. Okay, good. Then, uh, tell me, 
you are Andrea, okay, and I will be Jason. Ready? Yes. Okay. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Good Trevor. Oh, really? What do you do there? Um, and guide. And guide. Guide. Guide and take people on tour to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great, a great show. I like, I, I, I love. love, I love. It. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Okay. Good. Thank you very much. Now listen the last time for the pronunciation and then we go on to the next. Where do you minute. work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Okay. have to refresh it. Okay. Now the next one says, uh, Beatrice, can you please read this objective here? By the end of this lesson, Participants will be able to under understand mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. use simple present. Okay, so here, if you see what we are uh, trying to do now is to express ideas uh, of things that we do in present, right? Okay, for example, the activities, daily routines, habits, okay, or to express Facts, okay, so these are the things that we're going to see in this in this unit. It says simple present WH questions and statements. Okay, so we have questions with WH. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use simple present. Simple present WH questions and statements. What do you do? I'm a student and I have a part time job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. I, you, work, take, study, teach, do, go, have. He, she, works, takes, studies, teaches, does goes, has. Now that you have watched the video, I'm sure you noticed the changes on the verbs when talking on third person singular. For example, we say, I, you work, he, she works. I, you take, he, she takes. This inflection happens only in third person singular affirmative sentences. 
Also, take note that when we ask any type of questions in simple present, as in this case we're using WH question words, we must use the auxiliary do for I, you, we, they, and does for he, she, it. When we put everything together, this is how the structure will look like. We have WH question word <clears throat> plus auxiliary plus the subject plus the verb in its base form plus complement plus question mark. Now what I want you to do is to type in a WH simple present question in our discussion box. Okay. This inflection half. Well, you can see here, right, the questions. What do you do when you are using you? Okay, where do you work? Where do? Now, here you can use you, they, and we. What do you do? What do they do? What do we do? And here is for he, she, it. Where does Andrea work? Or where does Andres work? Can be he or she. What does she do? What does he do? How does she like? Or how does he like? Okay, so you can use these different forms. And you see the whole inflection. Cuando se refiere a una inflection es que ha habido un aumento de, in this, this case, this letter, right? Work, works. Take, takes. Study, studies. Teach, teaches, do, does, go, goes, and have, has, okay? So here you have the verb in simple present in English has only two forms, right? Two forms, do and does, go and goes, have and has, okay? Not three, not four, it's just like in Spanish, we have like six forms, okay? But in this case, it's only two. Happens only in third person singular affirmative sentences. Also, take note that when we ask any type of questions in simple present, as in this case, we're using WH question words, we must use the auxiliary do for I, you, we, they, and does for he, she, it. When we put everything together, this is how the structure will look like. We have WH question word, plus auxiliary, plus the subject, plus the verb in its base form, plus complement, plus question mark. Now what I want you to do is to type in a WH simple present question in our discussion box. Okay. Mark. Preguntas? Now what I Any questions? Simple present. Uh, yes, no questions? And information questions. No? No problem? No. Okay. No okay, remember that uh, the idea here is, for example, what are the things that we usually do? Okay, well, we how do we spend the day yes let me show you before we do this it says uh, how do you spend your day okay how do you spend your day Okay, how do you spend your day? Well, in the morning, I, I get up early, take a I take a shower, then I get dressed, and I go to work. I teach classes uh, from 7 to 8 or 9 a.m. Then I have breakfast, okay? After that, I teach other two or three classes 
then at uh, at 12 or at noon i come back to my house okay then i have lunch i do some uh, home home activities and then i prepare my classes for the afternoon then i have dinner and then i prepare my classes for the evening then i finish these classes after this i upload the videos to youtube and then i go to sleep okay this is a general way okay a general form okay how i spend uh, let's say a working day right a working day and this is what you're going to do now right for example uh, say a daily routine daily routine okay now in uh, let me see I will give you two minutes not three minutes okay three minutes and then in three minutes you are going to think about five activities okay five activities that you do during the day okay just like the probably not the most important not the most uh, relevant but the five activities in the day that can describe in a general form or in a general way how you spend a day for example i told you like uh, 15 i guess 15 or 10 activities right you think about five okay five activities the most important ones right for example i work in the morning or i start working at 8 a.m i have a meeting with my boss or i have a meeting with my co-workers or i read emails i send emails i i go i do some uh, probably i prepare some material for my presentations then I have lunch. After lunch, I have one or two meetings or I finish some reports. Then, uh, then I come back home. When I get back home, I rest a little bit or I just rest for a minute or one hour, I don't know, okay? Five activities, three minutes, okay? You can write them, okay? O solo escribir las ideas, right? Or you can write a complete sentence and after, y después la van a decir en frente, aquí en, al frente de la clase. Okay. Let me check the time. Let me check the chronometer. Here we go.
Okay, 10 seconds, 9, 8, okay, there we go, okay, one volunteer, one volunteer to share what you do during the day. Puedo empezar, teacher. Go ahead, Roberto, please. Okay. I spend at home watching television. I spend in working. Okay. I then only the activity. Spend is mm -hmm. a different verb. Or you say, for example, I watch television. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I was working in the house. I work in the house. I am studying in the college. Um, instead, I am sleep half morning. Mm -hmm. um, I, I at home resting. I rest, no sé I rest at home. I rest, I rest at home. At home, right? Okay, in this moment, uh, then you work in your house? Yes? Uh huh. You study in the university or college? Uh, college. College is like a, a, how do you call this? Como una, como elitka. Uh -huh. Como una escuela técnica, una universidad técnica, right? Okay. Uh, what else? Uh, and then you, es, este... you watch TV? Watch TV, correct. And you then I sleep all, all morning. I, I sleep all morning. Um, I, I am resting at home. I, I rest. I rest. Uh, at I home. rest at home. At home. Okay, good. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay. Floor ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. Um. I get up at 6 a.m. I take a shower. I eat my breakfast. I brush my feet. And I went to work at 8 a.m. I, 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 I go to work. I go to work at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. And I work all day. And I take my class, my English class right now. Okay, very good. Okay, if you see, for example, that we are using only simple present because these are activities that we do every day, right? So when we talk, when we, when we want to speak in English about routines, uh, habits, for example, I drink a lot of coffee, okay? You say it in present, okay? No se dice, I drank coffee porque se ya no tomo. Yo tomaba café, I drank coffee. Uh, I will drink coffee, tomaré café. So you see change, right? But if I drink coffee every day, then I say in present, okay? Very good. Then, uh, Brenda. And you like reading in my house? Uh, I like to cook. I like to cook. I, I like to cook. Uh, I like um, play in the my brother. I play with my brother. Uh, he, 
I'm the who in the park. And I run. Mm -hmm. I run in the park. I run in the park. Okay, good. If you see also, this is another thing that when we say I, act, the activities that you do are, for example, the, let's say the general things. And we say spend how you spend the day, right? Esto es como pasamos el día, right? And then some people have more activities than others. Okay, other people have less activities. Other people have a very, let's say, um, a very difficult or hard uh, activities. And other people have some easy and nice activities, right? For example, children, they play all day, okay? How do children spend the day? Playing, they play, they play uh, with the toys, they watch TV, they eat, they sleep, okay? Uh, and adults, adults, they, we get up early, we go to work, uh, we have to clean the house, we have to cook, we have to go to the supermarket, we have to, many things, right? So we spend the day, pasamos el día, right? We spend the day doing different activities. Okay, Jose Firoa, tell, tell us your, how you spend the day. Okay. Um, working all day. Okay. To, I work all day. To university homework. Okay. Uh, the, the next study English class. Okay. Watch TV and sleep very late. And go to bed very late. Okay, go to bed very late. So you work all day. Yes. yes. You go to the university. Yes. You study English. You watch TV. Watch TV. And you go to bed very late. Yes. Okay. No siente el día, right, Jose? Muy <laughs> realmente. <laughs> yes. When we have a lot of activities, we don't feel the day. Ah, huh, Flor? Flor, you don't feel the day. No. No siente el día. Oh, yes. Se le trao. Okay. All right, good. And Iris? How do you spend the day? Um, I make breakfast. Okay. I clean the house. Mm -hmm. I make lunch. Okay. And I butter my dog. My dog. My, my daughter. daughter. Okay. And it's normal because uh, for the moment I don't I don't walk, and uh, today all day rain rain it rain. Rain. No, it's possible. Yes. Okay, rain all day. Where? Rain. In New Rochelle, New York. Ah, New York. Yes. You are in New York. Is it cold? Uh, Yes, it's very cold. <laughs> okay, yes. That's what I was surprised. Okay, yes, that's true. Yes, you know, and uh, that and this is the the time that is very cold. Okay, very good, excellent. Thank you, Iris. Okay, uh, Beatriz. In the morning, I get up at seven a.m. All right. Then I have a breakfast with my family. Then. I clean my house and wash my clothes. Sometime my mother cooks the lunch and after the lunch, my sister and I wash the dishes and then I relax. Okay, very good. Easy day, <laughs> but tiring, right? Oh. Yeah. Okay, Carmina. Um. I get up um six a.m. Okay. <coughs> every day I cook and lunch. I cook lunch every day. Right. I visit my grandmother every day. 
I clean my house. Okay. I take a nap. A nap? A nap. A snap or nap? Nap. 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 I nap. take a nap every day. Okay. Oh, that's nice enough to take a nap. And you tell me, how about you? How do you spend the day? Um, running, running, or how much is the correct? Running. Jo jogging or running? Running. Running. Mm -hmm. uh, to work. Okay. Uh, clean them in the house. Okay. Listen to music. Is a student English class. Okay. Shopping. And that's it. Okay, so you run in the morning, you go to work, then you clean the house, uh, you go shopping, and then study English. Yes. Okay, good. A lot of activities. Okay, very good, excellent. Okay, now you see, for example, we're talking about present, about things that we do every day, right? Then, for example, después pueden poner ahí si hacen mandados, right? I go to the bank, I go to the, uh, I go to the salon for a haircut. I, mm -hmm. um, for example, what else? I, uh, what else can we do for run, uh, run? I go to the hardware store, voy a la ferretería, right? I mm -hmm. fix something in the house. Okay, so it's this, those are other activities that we have to do sometimes. Okay, look at this. Complete this conversation using simple present and WH questions. Now, I'm a full-time student. I study the violin. Yes, what do you do or what does, what does you do? Do. What do you do? What do you do? Where do you go or where do you go? Go. Oh, oh. where do you go? Go. Okay, go. where do you go? Do you go? go? How do you like your classes? Your opinion, right? I like them a lot. Or where do you like your classes? Oh. Okay. How. 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 How do you like is give me your opinion, okay? That is the meaning. Deme su opinion. How do you like? Okay, how do you like your your classes? I like them a lot. I, think, I don't like them, okay? Or so-so, okay? Four, what do Tania do or what does Tania do? Does. What does, does. does. What does right? Because is a third she. person, she. Mm -hmm. What does she do exactly? She teaches she, she, or she teaches? She teaches. third person. Okay, what about Ryan? Where does he work? He works. Well, he works, right? He works. And then, what does what, he do exactly? What Where? What? 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 What does he do exactly? What does? Okay, let's see. And we have, yes, what works, teaches, does, where, how, go, and do. Perfect. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Then, um, Then tomorrow we're going to use time expressions. Okay, for example, like uh, in the morning, in the afternoon, uh, at five o'clock, uh, midnight. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to be practicing how to use time expressions and some frequency adverbs, right? Like usually, always, sometimes. Okay, people? So that's all for today. So get ready for tomorrow with more, uh, for example, tomorrow we're gonna have time expressions. Uh, using, for example, what you probably, uh, 
uh, how you segment, how you, do you, uh, let's say, divide the day. So you have morning, afternoon, and evening. And when we use night, when we use noon, at noon, midnight, and those expressions, okay? Okay, people, have a very good night. See good you night, tomorrow. teacher. Okay, take good care. Night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye, bye. Good night. bye, Iris. Bye, Robert. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night.